This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Amber Gilmer with me. You are an RN, a registered nurse, and Jessica Montgomery, you are an RPN. So RPN, what does that stand for? Registered? Registered practical nurse. Practical nurse. All right. And you're both with the Rideau Community Health Services. Uh, I want to say here in Smith Falls, but that's where you are today. You are, your catchment area is huge as well. Yes. yes, we have quite a few different sites. So I actually work in Brockville and then we're in Smith Falls. And we also have a site in Merrickville as well. Okay. And then we have another site in Perth. All right. So you, uh, and you, you guys travel everywhere. People don't just go to the clinic to see you. And is clinic the proper word? Is, that, is it a clinic that you have? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So you, you're out and about too, because you go out and you help your communities. Yeah, so there's quite a few different roles that people have here. So um, like there's dietitians, there's telemedicine, um, we have a diabetes program, I'm the community nurse, um, we've got social workers. So all of those programs, they do, they host a lot of um, events and clinics on site, but they also go into the community and host programmings as well. All right. And you do a lot of education there, too. I, I was looking at your Facebook page last mm -hmm. night. I believe you have a diabetic one coming up, diabetic uh, cooking. Yeah. The diabetes program, they're always running so many different events. Um, the dietitians are often um, running cooking classes, speaking about proper eating habits. So I'm not sure of the details on, on those specific classes, but they're definitely usually running something at least once a month. All right. All right. So Jessica, maybe they you also, can speak about what they also run an exercise program as well. Yes, that's right. That's right. A very a wellness. You really do a lot of wellness there. That's, yes. right. that's right. So, I mean, you do so much too. So maybe Jessica, can I ask you this question? What does your day look like? Is it different all the time? What is it you do? So it, yeah, every day is a different day. Um, I'm the primary care nurse um, in the office here in Smith Falls. So um, we support the doctors, nurse practitioners. We have a pharmacist on site. Um, so with our rostered clients and our clients range from newborn babies right up to elderly. Um, and we um, basically see them for any needs that they have. They schedule an appointment. Um, either with their primary care provider or if they can't get in to see them with somebody else. And it ranges. We do everything from uh, immunizations, telephone triage. We um, do wound care, suture removal, and then just the regular like doctor's appointments that people come in for. We check blood pressures, um, fill out forms, kind of anything that you need done, we can help you with. So is that like an appointment-based uh, clinic type thing or can people come in? It, it is appointment-based for the primary care clinic. Um, you just call into the, the main desk and just set up the appointment. Okay, now how many nurse practitioners have you got there? Um, in Smith Falls site, there's five. Wow. About eight, five, five, and there's four, four doctors. Oh, I'd have to think about how many we have across the whole organization. Well, I, well, it, I was just thinking the Smith Falls site, just to give people an example too. So yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's a, I think it's an amazing service that not a lot of people know that you're there and you're, you're physically at the, the old high school. Yes, we are. That's where you are. That's where you are. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, Amber, what does your day look like? How, do, how does your day look? Oh my goodness. My day is so busy every day and it's so different every day. So being the community nurse, I work with a vulnerable population. So I'm focusing on um, going into group homes, working with folks who have developmental disabilities and those who have um, mental health and addiction concerns. So I could be going into group homes, doing staff education, staff training, um, doing like an assessment on a client if they have a concern, whether it be a rash, maybe they're having some issues with their respiratory system. Um, and then I also went into the community to a lot of the local shelters. So, and then I will just set up a nursing clinic there. People will come to me pretty much the same as Jess, but um, out um, 
off of site. So they just come to me with their concerns and we work through whatever those concerns are. Lots of referrals, lots of connecting them to resources in the community. It's a little bit different than primary care because I don't have a doctor to work with or a nurse practitioner. So I don't have the ability to give prescriptions or immunizations. So it, it's a little different in that way, but it's really just supporting people where they're at, meeting their needs and navigating that system. Okay, now I, I, I work at Community Living North Granville in Campbell and I, one of your coworkers, Jean Thompson, my goodness, oh. she's been amazing with us too. She will come in and uh, uh, she'll come into one of the houses if somebody's you know tube fed she will teach the staff exactly. how to do it properly if somebody yeah. you know is is diagnosed with diabetes she will come in and and teach our staff you know how to test the blood sugar how to give the diabetes or how to give the insulin sort of thing too we have a clinical yeah. nurse on, on staff as well too but she can't do it all so we have right. relied on Jean Thompson you know for, yeah. for a few years now is that the I sort think of thing coming. you yeah, yeah, I'll be coming to North Granville soon, actually, to meet with the crew there. So excellent, excellent. Uh, we'll be doing some mask fitting in the coming days. Oh, are you? So doing yeah, I do exactly. I do exactly what Jean does, just more in the leaves side of things, and she looks after Lanark. Okay, so now you're going to be coming and doing the N95 masks. I am. Well, that's wonderful too, because I mean, let, let's speak about that too. During COVID, I mean, we at times we had to wear N95 masks. You got to make sure they fit, and you 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 come and teach us to make sure we're wearing it properly to start out with, <laughs> mm -hmm. and if yeah, it fits properly. Yeah, we yeah. both we both do the testing for that. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Very important, very important to be doing that sort of thing too. So we we totally, you know, it's been wonderful during COVID. How long have you guys been doing this? I should ask that first. Goodness. I've been a nurse since 2014, and I've been with Rito for six, maybe seven years. Yeah. Jess has me beat, though. <laughs> so I've been nursing for 20 years now, this year, 20 years, and I've been with Rito for 13, 12, 13. Wow, wow. And I mean, the last two, three years with COVID, too, your job description, I mean, it changes probably daily every time you went in. There's a new ministry guideline you had to follow. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah, constant updates. But yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, hopefully we're on the other end of it now, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure your job, and, and I know, again, Jean Thompson has gone through our, our houses too and has given vaccinations. Yes, so Jean and I ran, um, I think we did all of the clinics together. So we went out to all of the group homes. Um, hopefully we got all of them, but we did Lanark and Leeds and Grumville, um, and we just, uh, we paired up it worked really well it was super smooth with the two of us um, and we went from home to home throughout both um, jurisdictions well you know on, on behalf of community living north granville and, and all other support services that you help that was such a godsend because there's some people mm -hmm. it was just too difficult to get them to, a, to their own doctor or to a clinic and the fact that you yeah. came to their houses and did that for us I, yeah. I know we thank you their families thank you it was amazing support that you provided yeah. for us. It was a great partnership with the health unit. If um, like if it wasn't for them, it wouldn't have been possible either. So, yeah. All right, all right. So, yeah. uh, you know, in, in terms of, we were talking about different locations. You've got one in Maryville, you've got one in Smith Falls, Brockville and Perth. That's right. That's right. So you, you guys do so much. There's so much going on in there. I'm going to list a few of the services. I know you were doing it too. Uh, you do primary care, diabetes education, uh, help me with this word, chiropody? Chirop? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. just like foot care. It's a high risk foot care service. Okay, and I mean, that is so important too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Especially yeah. For the diabetic population. Absolutely. I mean, that that is, uh, you know, when you talk about, you know, having a sore on your foot, that can be, uh, it's so important to get your feet checked. That's for sure. That's for sure. Especially if you're diabetic. Mm. Yeah. Uh, social yeah. work, you do nutrition counseling. I really like that. I know that's on one of our uh, topics to talk one month about. Uh, telemedicine, lung health, numerous community health uh, promotion and disease prevention programs. So it's amazing what you guys do. It's just, I, I, I keep referring back to Jean Thompson, but I, I don't know how you guys uh, fit your agenda every day of what you're going to do because <laughs> it probably changes when you get to work too. <laughs> Oh, definitely. It's, yeah, every day is different. That's right. That's right. So uh, let's see, uh, Jessica, you yeah. mostly work in the office, and Amber, you're mostly out in the community. 
Right. I'm yeah. hardly ever in the office. Uh, hardly ever in the office. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But I, you know, the fact that you're going to be coming doing N95 mask uh, training with us too, it, it, yeah. just your, your um, versatility. I mean, it, you, you, you have to know so much and teach so much. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And I, I mean, you make us successful too. I'm, and I'm speaking in terms of, you know, being a social worker or being a support worker in the houses. You, you guys make us successful in what we do. So we so appreciate what you guys Thank do. Thank you. All yes. right. So like we say, we're, we're going to be talking to somebody once a month from the Rideau Community Health Services. Uh, and we're going to learn more about your, your services and what you provide. But you guys are amazing. Is there anything you'd like to, to add before we wrap up? No, the only program that I was thinking of that's super important to mention is we do have a, a dental program too, but um, it, it's based on income. So there is an eligibility criteria, but that's just one we didn't get to touch on. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's wonderful too, because, you know, the yeah. dental care, is, it's an expensive thing and, and not everybody can, can have it. So if you've got a program out there, especially for children too, so important how their, yeah. their teeth come in and... It, you know, it determines what, what their adulthood is going to be like with their teeth, too. So that's awesome. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. I've got Amber Gilmore and Jessica Montgomery, both from the Rideau Community Health Services uh, at our Smith Falls offices. But next time, uh, we'll have you here in the studios.